Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well. I know it's been a little while, but um, I've been kind of doing, uh, you know, just uh, Christmas holiday things with family. And I thought I'd take a little break and I'm back. Um, I'm gonna be doing a few videos and then probably um, take another little break because I do need to do like an end of the year uh, clean up because my craft room is a disaster and I have been noticing some people on YouTube and they all have been um, kind of in the same boat and um, I I'm at a point now that I'm not being able to find things very well so I have to take the time to do that or I won't be able to uh, you know be very productive because I spend too much time looking for things. But anyway, I wanted to show you some of the things that I'm going to do. Um, last year, I kind of completely revamped my whole um, craft room. And I am going to be changing some things around that have not worked well or I haven't utilized it well the way it is, etc. And um, I will put the link to the video of my craft room um, tour um, in the description box if you're interested in that. And um, I'll basically, I'm just going to show you when um, I do it what I change. So you can compare the two. And I'll tell you why I changed it. Because um, I think it's kind of important. But. For this video, what I want to do is I want to concentrate on some things that I am adding to my uh, list of things that I want to organize and how I'm going to organize it, okay? Um, and it may work for me, it may not, um, but I'm trying to find new ways to do things. I'm not saying that my way is like a new thing, but I think... Um, there may be people out there that have not seen this, so this might be interesting to you, okay? Um, first off, I have bought a couple of things from Joann's, and I'm going to try this because I have had such a horrible time with kind of lace and trim and stuff like that. And my laces and trims, I have them in a little cart next to me. But I also have a lot of other things in like boxes and I can't really see them and I want them more organized and I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, this is a, what does it say it is, an, it's by Art Bin and it is a double deep super satchel, okay? And I'm going to try and open this to where you guys can see it. And the inside, it has all these little dividers that come out, and you put them in there, and they don't really adjust. You could take, like, you could have a bigger section here, um, you know, but in, in any case, what I'm using this for is I'm going to try and divide up a lot of the stuff that I have under my desk, around my desk, and put them in sections in here and see if that works for me, because... It's starting to drive me crazy, and I'm thinking if I do this, then I can kind of put it on a shelf and be able to pull it down. Like, I'm on this one is pink. I'm going to put all my pink stuff in one. I may actually need another one. I was sitting there looking at it today, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I might need another one. And I have different colors. I have a blue, and then I have, um, I bought this one. And this one has the tra super satchel with the double deep uh, removable tray. And they had all their um, plastic stuff at Joanne at 50% uh, off, I believe. Anyway, so, so this has a tray in it. It has the same kind of dividers, but it also has a tray. And I think what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put some of my... Um, very vintage stuff in here. I'm going to separate it from some of my other stuff and try and put it um, in the bottom and on in the tray. And 
Um, that is what I think I'm going to do with that. I don't know for sure. We shall see because it's going to be a work in progress. Um, and let's see what else I was going to do. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the other thing with that is I bought these little containers. And they came in a big pack. And anything that I can link for this, I will put that in um, the description box. Um, if not, I'll tell you where I got them from. Like those super satchels, I got them from Joann's. There's not really a link for that, I don't think. Um, you just have to go to Joann's and look on their website. But anyway, these are... I um, can't find the top thing that I got with this. But I love these because they have a snap on them, for one thing. And I have all these little pieces of uh, these vintage trim and stuff like that. And I kind of want to put them in some of these. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in the super satchel or I'm going to put them separately. But I thought I could use that to put some of those in. Just because I have a lot of little pieces that I really don't. I mean, they're not. I have like a scrap bin. But these are like a little bit bigger than that. Like here. And I don't know that I'm going to unwind them. Because I have them kind of on rubber bands. But, and these are all very vintage and stuff. And I, I really like them. And I like to use them. But I really want to be able to see them easily. And get to them but at the same time. I don't want to wind every one of them up. Because they're such small pieces. And the other thing I thought these would be great for. Is I have all of this. Uh these die cuts and ephemera and things like that and I do when I'm working on them I do keep them in these um, uh, I guess they're you know like for meal prepping I love doing that but um, when I'm done working on them on a project I would like to be able to like, see these are getting all tangled and I do have um, them in a uh, old um, magnetic photo album but I do want to be able to like keep some of these just in a like little containers and stuff because I really these that I cut out okay they're getting really tangled um, I usually only use these for one purpose and I want to kind of just keep them like that. Like maybe all like ones together. And then I can just put that like that. Okay. Like here I have some other ones. So when I'm done with my project. They will. They can be stored flat. I could even put them in. Another, another one of my little storage containers. But see how easily that goes in there? And I love that. So, um, you know, I just want to be able to put the little things kind of in a in a, their own little spot. Like, see all these flowers? Okay, when I get done with them, I may want to just put all of them in here. Okay, or I may want to store them there now. I don't know. I kind of like them in the trays as I'm working because then I can kind of dig through them. But when I'm done, I really don't like to store things in these trays. Um, to, you know, I just kind of like to have a flat, a flat place that I can put them. And I tend to put all of my stuff, like my papers and things, like those are for my gypsy journals. I tend to use these things, okay? And these bags, and I bought quite a few of them because they came in bulk, the ones I got. But I would maybe put the papers and all of that stuff just kind of in here. Or I may just store all of them in here and then mark it and put it, file it. Because then that way I have them all in one thing. And I really like the, these little things for that type of deal. Okay? So that was my thought process there. And these are great. They come in all different kinds of sizes. So um, I tend 
to use um, the big sizes for like a project and then the smaller sizes will be like for papers that I printed off or something and um, these smaller sizes which I don't know exactly what it is it is again I'll try and link all this if I can find the exact thing that I bought but there's lots out there so these are um, they're about 13 so um, wide and then nine um, tall so that you know you can fit your papers that you have printed in there and that's what's great about that so if you've got papers that you printed you can put it in. now it won't fit a 12 by 12 scrapbook paper but your printed pages if you're doing um, any type of um, uh, 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 printing of papers that they're going to be the eight and a half by eleven or maybe legal size um, you know but these work really well for that and they come in different colors so if you want to kind of color code them then you can definitely use that but I'm going to be organizing um, any of my um, printed pages that I have and I'm also going to be organizing a lot of my ephemera and putting it in different things and then I have a um, a uh, big uh, old uh, filing cabinet and these actually fit in the filing cabinet so I can I can actually just label these and put them in there and have them all the different um, digitals that I have and and those papers and then maybe some of these or we'll see how I do it but anyway that's my thought process in doing that um, let me move this aside here Let's get that out of the way so anyway I did get a lot of these um, but you know when you're organizing you always end up like needing more and I think this will be perfect for what I need it for and I love they're very they're actually very strong and they were not very expensive so um, I'm kind of excited about that um, I bought some more organizers and these are similar size in fact I think these smaller ones may be the same size as this a little bit smaller um, because they have like these little sides here so but they're very similar size I think you could probably use them for the same thing. I am reorganizing a little bit. Um, I have invested, and I say invested. When you buy your craft things, it is an investment. You're, you know, you're. What you're doing is you are. Um, you're purchasing things that you can use in the future now we're in the future here i don't want to use those let me show you this okay what happened to the other ones that i had okay they're over here anyway um so these smaller ones like this let me move this out of the way it's getting confusing now um, these smaller ones that have this little flap okay I use these and I just got them and I started looking at, these are my um, my embossing folders and I keep this with it it comes in just like a little cellophane thing and I keep that with it so that I can tell what it is and also I can reference it and most of them fit in here pretty easily um, and this has like a little flap thing that you just go like this and it closes and I like that because they fit there nice and neat and I have a little kind of a little um, container that I put them all in and I just kind of file them um, you know by types but anyway, I thought I wanted to put them in here because I had them in um, these large sleeves. Let me show you those. I had them in here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
And the problem with these is, okay, this top thing, I mean, you can fold them under and everything, but these were kind of big and they kind of flopped around, all right? And so they didn't really work for these, okay? So, and this is a thicker um, container. So I thought, well, okay, I think these will work for that. So I bought some of those for that. They work real, like I said, really well for that. Um, the other thing I got them for is I have accumulated quite a few of um, Tim Holtz stamps. And you know how they come on the big, uh, I don't know what, like the big plastic thing. Look, I got all kinds of stuff on there, but, um, you know, and these are actually pretty big. But mine en end up a lot of times falling off and pieces are falling off or whatever. And, you know, these stamps are not all that cheap. So, you know, I, this is an investment and I want to take care of it. So I bought these and these came with these and it was a, a set, the two sizes. And then this one is nine and a half by seven which is perfect just about perfect to put these in and i they're that is my main purpose in buying these and of course it has this little slit and it stays shut pretty well okay um i like that and my other uh, thing is these, I, I kind of got those originally to put these in, and they didn't fit. Okay, so these were, it doesn't, this is checkout store brand, and they were cheaper than the Avery L. And they're actually, I think, just as good, because I've bought those before too. But I thought these would fit in there, and they don't. They're just a little bit too wide. So they fit in these, and I, I also like how these go in too and it's got that little little thing that closes them but I still like these because I use these for other things I'll show you that in a minute but anyway so I got those and I think they work really really well for that and I'm really happy now because I have all these kind of filed but I'm, then I don't have to worry about the stamp falling off, you know, because um, that was really kind of a problem. It seems like they were always coming off of the thing because, you know, you, they lose their stickiness after a while. So anyway, that is what I got that for. And then the smaller size, which is... Um, this is, what, five by seven those work extremely well for most smaller um, stamp sets that you buy they just it's just a great size for those and I was really excited about that because again those kind of do the same thing they'll start falling off after a while and I was pretty excited about that so, anyway, that's how I intend to organize my stamps. Um, I may not get all of them put in there right now, but I'm, my most used ones for sure. Um, because, you know, I'm always taking those in and out. And I want to make sure I have them in there. Now, those other things, let me see. I was going to show you that they will also fit the stamp set. So, if you wanted to... You could use those for that. They'll fit in there too. So that's a thought. Um, I mainly thought of using these for all of my different ephemera. But, you know, you certainly could use them for both. And I may, depending upon, you know, when I get done doing all this. But that was my thought process. Um, last year I spent all my money on my furniture and all that kind of stuff that I bought. Although I bought a lot of it secondhand, most of it actually 
but I still there's still a lot and um this year I'm gonna go in the deep dive and do a little bit more organizing um I wanted to show you also um that I do use um, these checkout stand um, ones and these are what are the size of these these are blah these are see they're like these are like right under seven and they have to be seven and width for them to do the uh, Tim Holtz or they don't fit and so I was kind of could have measured I guess but anyway um and these are by I mean, it's certainly big enough. Nine and is it a half? No, not quite. Maybe nine and a quarter. So I have this on a magnetic uh, plate, but what I did, I'm going to show you in order to, let me show you the magnetic sheets. And I know everyone has shown these sheets like this. You can put them, you know, on these magnetic sheets okay your die cuts and this is how I do them all right and I was doing them all like this here this one goes somewhere in there and then this goes in there um, but what I figured out if you want to save some money you can just get some it doesn't have to be black cardstock it could be white it could be any kind of extra color it could just be paper that you have I just had a bunch of black and I just cut this, I cut the um, magnetic strip, I just cut it in strips. So I just took a scissors and I cut them. They cut very easily um, and they have, they have sticky on the back. And then I just put the strips on here and then I didn't need as much of the magnetic sheets because it worked just as, it worked just as well. I mean... I just put three pieces on there and it worked just as well so I did not have to spend as much money on the magnetic sheets and then I just took them and I put them and I there's different sizes of these if you want them to fit perfectly you can get the smaller size but I liked having the bigger size so that I could because um, I have different die cuts I have some that are bigger or whatever and I wanted them to uh, um, you know work with all of them now of course I could have cut my pieces to fit in this sleeve perfectly um, and you could do that but anyway that's what I used and that's checkout store brand and they do have different sizes like I said so you could get the different sizes um, I tend to just do this now, if I have a ton of little pieces like this one, I use a whole sheet because obviously it'd be pretty hard to get them in between all those pieces to stick. But if it's not a whole sheet, I mean, if it's not a bunch of pieces, then I will, I will cut them up and do that. So anyway, I just put them in there and then I have like a little um, plastic thing and I have little dividers on there and I'll show you that later. And I think it's in my... I think I, it is in my tour, so you can see that. But I did want to show you that and my little tip on saving a little bit of money um, on the magnetic sheets. And the sheets are um, Marietta magnets, and I did get those on um, Amazon. So, and they're five by seven. So there's 25 of them. And, you know, if you only have 15 to 20 die cuts, that's not a big deal. But if you have, you know, 100 and you don't want to buy 100 of these, you can just cut them up and you'll have enough. So, all right, so that is that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you that I'm doing um, also is, let me move that. I bought a few of these containers at the dollar store. Um, I like them, but I'm putting um, ephemera or things that I've made. I've, I've made these for my gypsy journals and I'm doing it by type. 
and I'm, I'm dividing it all up in here because what I found is I would tuck them away in a box somewhere and forget that I did them or had them and then I wouldn't use them and so anyway so I am dividing that up like that and that's how I'm going to maybe keep them so that was one, another thing that I'm I'm kind of trying to figure out where I'm where I'm going to put things um let's see what was the other thing mm, oh material I have a horrible situation with my material and I'm going to be trying this I saw somebody do this these are comic book boards okay um and I am going to use this. They're just the right. They're not super, super heavy duty. Um, but they're heavy duty enough that um, they don't bend too easily. And what I'm going to do is I am going to, I measured um, some of my uh, uh, bins that I have. And I'm going to try and um, put some material, do my material on them. To try and make them a little bit more organized and I'm also going to do a deal where I am hanging up um, some bulk material that I have and I'm also going to kind of do a thing where I don't I'm going to do like a little um, swatch deal so that I don't keep all of my material in my craft room because um, I do have a lot of upholstery material and it's very bulky and um, what I intend to do with that is I'm going to try and do a little kind of a swatch thing and um, when I do that I'll show I am going to show you guys how I do that but that way I can kind of keep track of what I have and kind of flip through and say oh I have all of this and then that way I don't have to keep it all in my craft room. I can keep it in a closet um, down the hall and I can put other things in my craft room that I get into all the time. Because um, I don't, you know, I don't get into them all the time, but I'd like to figure, I'd like to quickly know what I have. And that's one thing I'm going to do. But I am going to keep smaller um, amounts on these boards and I'm going to wrap them on here okay and I thought this would be a great way to do it and they're they're pretty good you know they're not super thick but they're thick enough once you wrap the material on there that I think that they would work well and then I bought these little uh, they're called clear clear plastic clips to um, well it's not opening so we'll have to cut it um, to clip the material on and I again I will link all this in my description box but they came with 200 so that way I can clip these on there and this will I think these will also work really well when I'm doing my um, lace and trim and stuff like that and I also thought that these would work really well too for um, if I wanted to cut some of these up and maybe use them for lace and trim and stuff and I can put them in the boxes that I bought those um, those art bin boxes they can fit in here okay I can cut them to size and they can all fit in here I can stack them so um you know just cut them out the size that i need and put them in here for any of the larger pieces that i have so that was a thought process there and this was relatively inexpensive so i thought okay well that sounds like i think this will work i mean this is pretty heavy uh cardstock you know it's probably about the size or the um, size the thickness of a poster board so rather than getting poster board and having to cut it all up um, I thought I would get this uh, I might have to cut it a little for some pieces but I think most pieces when I measured will fit like that so they can be kind of filed like that so I'm really excited about that because 
um, I definitely have to get the material thing under control. Got to get it under control because I have a lot of it. Um, mm, move that over. Okay, then next, my other avenue of organization was I have lots and lots of receipts and things and I do need to keep them track of them um, I keep you know I usually throw them in here and I don't know I don't do a great job of it I don't keep a great job of all of my expenses so um, I don't know if any of you watched my hauls but I did get some happy planners um, that were undated of course you could get a dated one and use it um, this one is a teacher planner and this is the smaller one and it, it doesn't have any dates on it at all which I like because then I can go ahead and start when I need to start but the way that this is set up is um, well, here I'll show you the pages is here's your month and then here are your days okay what I'm going to do with this is I am going to use this for expenses and income and I'm just going to keep track of it that way because it's super simple and I don't want I like the idea of it being simple and I want to keep track of um, all of that in here I don't want to make it complicated I do have a budget planner, um, but I really, this is just going to be for um, my YouTube channel and Etsy and that everything pertaining to this uh, line of business for me. The biggest reason I'm doing that is um, they're starting, they were going to do it this year, but they postponed it. Um, you're going to start getting a 1099 if you have more than $600 in sales or income for, you know, these little businesses. And I don't make a lot, but I do make more than that. And I, but I want to keep track of my expenses and things. Um, and if you're not aware of that, that is a new rule that is, is going to, it was supposed to already go into effect. But now they're saying um, possibly next year. So that means you need to keep receipts for this year. So I'm going to do that. And of course I will keep the actual receipts too. And I'll probably have to keep something else besides this. And I'm going to go ahead and use that for this. Okay. Um, and like I said, this is just a teacher planner. You can use any planner. But I want to write out what it's for. I want to put my income down here. And because this is a happy planner with the disc thing, I have the disc punch and I can just punch and put papers, a statement, anything I want in here with it. Um, you know, so I have that information right there. Okay. Um, that's how I do it. I also have the little pouches that I can put on here where I can put receipts in there um, with each month if I want to do it that way. Um, but in any case, that's something that I'm also organizing because um, I have a feeling that next year I'm going to need all that. Um, in addition to that, I bought a uh, big planner uh, that was also um, undated. And I got this, I don't know, a few months ago. I had a haul a few months ago. And this one um, has a lot, has, you know, big spaces to write and to do and errands and all that and this is really my um uh weekly planner i don't really decorate them anymore i used to do that and i don't do it anymore so i've kind of gotten to where i really kind of like this kind of planner better um because it it just is it's real simple for me errands get it done calls noted focus on and then here's my daily thing and this is where I put what videos I'm going to do. And I used to do my personal and my 
uh, business thing separate and I found that I it was horrible for me because I um, I just I would I would mix the two up all the time and I wouldn't do it I would do one and not the other so and I write big and I need a lot of room so I got the big one and I thought okay so I'm just gonna keep it all in one and that's how I'm gonna do it and I honestly I have stickers coming out the yin yang and I'm probably, I may put a few stickers and things on it, but realistically, I'm just so excited that I have, um, I have this uh, planner that's nice and simple that I can use that, you know, that's going to work for me, all right? So I am going to get that going, and January 1st, I will have, I will have everything started. Uh, starting and have everything planned out and I'm I'm just that's kind of my thing is I want to make sure I keep track of things so anyway you can you know definitely let's see I paid um, $8.74 for these and I think these are normally like 30 something and the other ones are usually about that much um, let's see I paid uh, $7.49 for that one and I do know that they have still have uh, a lot of planners um, and all the accessories uh, marked down and they have the new ones out of course you can always get a new one the other thing too is you can get an old one and just uh, you know white out the date or cross it out or do whatever you want to do you don't have to have a new um, I just happened to come across these undated ones I was pretty excited about it because I probably got three or four of each I don't remember so you know that's my plan and um, I'm just gonna basically keep expenses in one and um, just my, all of my plans in here okay so I think that's it for me for today um, I wanted to just let you guys know what I was doing um, I'm probably doing the same thing a lot of people are doing um, and anyway, so I'm, I'm going to have a short trip out of town to Colorado to visit my son and, um, I will be doing more videos when we get back. I might, um, pop in and do one more video before we leave, uh, out of town and, um, then... Uh, you know, I may go dark for about six or seven days and I'll be back. So I'll see you guys soon. I hope everything's going well for you. I hope that um, you and your family have enjoyed this uh, season and I will see you soon. You guys take care. Bye.